Good morning, y'all. Good morning. It's Alicia. Happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday. Didn't sleep in as much as I thought I would, so I made sure to set up the We Wishes video, which is already up. And I promised this morning I'd come on to draw your attention to a few things. I alluded to one of them in my We Wishes video. So late last, I, listen, yesterday was one of those days. You ever have one of those days where the day just runs away from you? It's like I woke up and the next thing I knew it was 1.30 in the morning. And I was like, where did my day go? Like, I didn't get to any tidying up. I didn't get to any crafting. And I was sitting there thinking, wow, like the day just flew by. And I hadn't watched your videos. I hadn't had time to watch your videos. I hadn't commented. And even though I was pooped, I was like, oh, let me watch a few videos. So I clicked on Elvia's video. She had a, a post. And I thought, oh, great, I'll watch Elvia's video. I'm saying it right. I, I always mess up her name, pronouncing her name. Anyway, Elvia is k &E Crafty Shop. So I saw she had a new video up, clicked on it, and it was a really sweet video. With, and I thought, oh, this is lovely. And as I was listening, my heart started. This was, this was one of the most moving videos. And I have to tell you, folks, I knew that I knew about a month ago that Alvia had run into some car trouble. She had mentioned to me she was that there was a transmission issue, and I said, oh no, I believe it was transmission. I'm doing that from my memory, Alvia. But I remember her mentioning one day on the channel when we were chit-chatting back and forth in a comment that they'd run into some serious car trouble. And, you know, Alvia has kids, and that's like, depending upon where you live, if you run into car trouble in certain places, you're, you're really in trouble. Here in Florida, if you live in certain areas, if you don't have a car, I don't know how you're getting around. So she was saying, you know, it was very stressful. It was right before the holiday season, and they were hoping to get the car fixed. But that's the last, basically, we heard about it until yesterday. She didn't say a word, not a word through this whole thing with Miss Sabrina, when it would have been the perfect time to say, uh, hey folks, you know what, we also ran into some trouble for a different reason, but I totally understand and feel this. Nope, she didn't say a word. She just supported the whole drive for Sabrina. And so I didn't know until about 2 o'clock in the morning yesterday that K&E and her family are also in a position where Christmas may not come this year. Santa may not be arriving. Now, she was saying her uncle, I believe it's, is it your brother or your uncle, was going to help out by providing some presents. And I don't want to do a whole spoiler alert because I want you to watch her video, but another small group of people got together to do something for her, which was so moving, so moving. And I am so glad you shared this with us, Elvia. I am so glad you did. And you know, Again, I cannot believe you didn't say a word, not a word through this whole last 24 hours. You know, here we are, you're just helping move mountains and you don't say anything. And I talk many times or I reference many times here about the kind of people that are on this channel and how selfless they often are, right? How selfless they often are. Like Miss Betty will cut me a whole bunch of those gorgeous girls and she doesn't buy a paper pad, folks. So she's using what scraps are sent to her to cut those for me, right? And here is Alvia helping with the Sabrina situation, and she herself is in a very similar situation and does not say a word. Does not say a word, probably because she doesn't want to take away from helping Sabrina. So I racked my brain last night. It was it was 2 a.m. when I saw this, and I thought, oh no, how did I? How did we not know? How did I not know? How did this happen? You know, and I knew Sabrina was going to be awake. You know, she's she's told us she's not sleeping. This whole thing has completely unnerved her in terms of her sleeping. And so I texted Sabrina and I said, you're not going to believe this. Remember, you know, she's just stunned beyond belief that we not only hit the goal, but surpassed it. She is so moved by everybody's amazing, amazing generosity. I did get a list from her that I'm going to share with you folks. Some of you asked for a list of items. Um, especially people that don't have access to credit cards asked for some items that could be picked up and mailed. And I did get a small list from Sabrina. So anyway, I contact her about Alvia and I say, how did I not know this? And how do we fix this? And anyway, so Sabrina and I were chit-chatting back and forth and I had not yet made my contribution to Sabrina's fund. And the reason I hadn't done that is that I was waiting to see where it was most needed. So in other words, if we were really close to the goal but didn't make it, I was going to add some funds there. If she didn't get gift cards from Amazon, I was going to do it that way. So I was holding back strategically. Well, here's what we decided, folks. Uh, what I was going to send Sabrina, instead, I'm going to send Alvia. And 
that way at least get something. Um, and I want to say I appreciate so very much my friend Sabrina. You know, you know, the other day I was a little irked. Let me tell you something. The second I told Sabrina about Avia, the second I told her, it wasn't even like there was a 50 second delay. No, the second I told her, she was like, let's help that girl out. Like right away. And I was like, I know. So Sabrina forfeited my contribution and said, absolutely, send that to her, send that to her, send that to her as quickly as possible, because I know exactly what that feels like. And so back to that irked day for a second, that's who Sabrina is. She could have rightly said, Leash, you and I are good friends, we are close friends, and my family is struggling, and I need that help. And instead, she's like, uh-uh, send it to her right away. So again, I say, that's who Sabrina is in my life. And there is, you know, there's what they call testimony all the time about things in life, right? Lisa can speak to this better than me. I don't speak well about this sort of stuff. But that's my testimony about my relationship with Sabrina. That is the Sabrina I know, who at like 2 o'clock in the morning was like, girl, we got to give it to her. Get it to her fast. Yeah. So, Alvia, that's at least a start of something. And I'm going to encourage everybody here each and every person to watch the video that I'm linking down below. And I'm asking you to watch it because it is extremely moving. It is an extremely, it is not a, you know, this terrible thing happened video. It's the opposite. It is one of the most uplifting, heartwarming videos you're going to watch. But you're also going to learn that Alvia was in a, and is in the same situation Sabrina's been in. And we just didn't know about it. And so it's time I draw our attention to it. Now, I know because the budgets are stretched, that it's unlikely to move two whole mountains. I know that. And I know that would be a lot to ask. And I wish I had known strategically because we could have figured out how to split this in some way. But, um, and I know people's budgets are just too stretched and you, you all were amazing. Uh, but I do want you to watch the video and I want anyone who can do anything, I would certainly appreciate it. But I understand that you already pushed your budgets to the limit. But any help that we can offer, Avia, I'd like to offer. So I'm going to be giving my contribution to Avia, and um, yeah, I just don't know what else to say other than I wish I had known. I wish I had known. But thank you, Avia, for being courageous. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for doing it in such an uplifting way. You really moved my heart. And I, I was shocked that, you know, here you are sharing it, and you weren't sharing it because you wanted people to rally around you. You wanted people to know how great humanity is. And I just think that makes you also a very special person. I am putting Elvia's channel down below. I'm with that specific video that I would really, I would really appreciate if you would watch for no other reason than to comment and let Elvia know what a special person she is. I think that the holidays puts a lot of pressure on folks. It makes parents feel like, you know, they're letting people down. It does, but Elvia's video, you know, is heart growing, not heart diminishing. And I think that the very least we can do for her is to let her know we think that she's amazing. That's the very least we can do. And if anyone can do anything extra, y'all know I'm going to be super appreciative. But I also recognize, unfortunately, that this is one of the toughest times of the year for everybody. <sighs> if, only we could, if only we could figure everything out. And I know Heather's going to be thinking the same thing this morning. And Cruz, trust me, I know. I know. I feel the same way. Had we known, had we known just a day ago. Um, but sometimes we find out things when we're meant to. I know that's what Lisa would say to me. Made new to great would say, Lisa, you found out when you were meant to find out. And I suppose that's true because it gave me a chance to also demonstrate to each of you who Sabrina Kay is as a person. In her time of need, she's like, nope, we got to help this lady out. And in fact, and then said, Leisha, I know you're in the middle of doing so much packaging. You probably won't be able to find the address real quick. I'll send you her address. Yeah, that's Sabrina Kay, folks. That's Sabrina Kay. Anyway, y'all, I'm off now to go, actually. We worked out how to ship her the cash really fast, so I am going to go not put on my unicorn pajama sweatshirt. I'm going to go put on some real clothes and head out to take care of that. And I'm hoping to have some time today to craft, folks. Yesterday just evaporated. Uh, I'm hoping to have some time either to craft or to sort through my crafts or, I don't know, to do something. So let's hope that happens. But I am so excited to see your wee wishes. I am so excited. 
I, I really am. And please enjoy every second of it and give it lots of thought and wish freely. That, that's what the point of this is. Wish freely. All right, y'all. I'm putting Alvia's video down below. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. I really appreciate it. All right. Happy Saturday, y'all. Happy Saturday.